Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about one of the most important factors in determining if it's a quality mattress, and that is less is more. So, let's go. Okay everybody, so when you're looking for a new mattress, mattress shopping can be tough because you don't know if it's a quality mattress, you know, what makes it a good mattress. You see some mattresses that are $4,000, some mattresses are $2,000, some mattresses are 500 bucks. So like, why is it a good mattress? Now, what we've been teaching and what we found is there's two main um, factors that will determine if it's a quality mattress. First of all, the first one is the materials that are being used. Are they good quality materials that are gonna hold up? That's a very important part in determining if it's a quality mattress. But also just as important of determining if it's a quality mattress is the way it's constructed. So this is what we're gonna talk about, why less is more when it comes to mattress construction. Because if you've done any mattress shopping, especially if you go into the, one of the big box stores, one of the mainstream stores, you're gonna see mattresses that are gonna be, you know, Again, three, four thousand dollars. It's one of these luxury mattresses. Some are going to be five hundred bucks, and usually, the more expensive mattresses that are out there are going to be the thicker mattresses. And you're going to see some mattresses, and that's the reason why you're going to see these thicker mattresses. Is a lot of it is marketing. Um, you know, we as humans, we a lot of times we buy with our eyes. So if you see a 15, 16, 17 inch mattress next to an eight, nine, 10 inch mattress side by side, you automatically assume that thicker mattress is a better mattress. However, that's not always the case. Um, and especially when you start, you know, when the salesperson is going to be describing the mattress or you see on the website the, the ingredients of the mattress, you see all these layers with fancy names on it. So you think it's a better mattress. But I'm going to say here that most of the time I would stay away from those. So and here's here's why. So as we've said in, in previous videos and in our mattressology section, is is less is more when it comes to the to buying a new mattress but also there's three parts to a mattress so the three main parts to a mattress is going to be the support layer the comfort layer and then the cover now usually this can be either quilted or um, not quilted um, but all those three factors are going to determine affect the feel and the support and the comfort of the mattress so on these thicker mattresses usually you're gonna see with a lot of layers that there's a lot of comfort layers because so this is where most of the mattress support is gonna come from most of the the support is gonna come from the support layer now this could be springs this could be foam this could be latex this can be you know different but mostly it's gonna be springs so and most springs are gonna be about eight inches thick or eight inches tall so let's see like this is we use a leg and plat comfort core this is an eight inch coil some are six inches but usually they're around eight inches now when you see these mattresses that are 14 15 17 inch thick mattresses that means you have a lot of cushion onto that mattress um, onto the top of the, the support layer now the, the the problem with that is that now most of the support is supposed to come from here but when you have this many layers on the mattress you're not this is not supporting you you're so far away from the the support layer that this is supporting you and i see this all the time we actually did a video of a mattress that was about 17 inches thick and it was only a few years old and it already had a big divot in it and it was a it was a very expensive mattress and and so one of the there's two main reasons why going really thick is not a good idea when you see a lot of layers in the mattress. So the main part, the first part is because of the support. When you have a super thick mattress with a lot of layers on it, you're not going to get the benefit of the support layer, at least not as much. Instead of, instead of this supporting you, you're being supported mostly by this. So, and then over time, like it's, it, now I'll, I'll say that a lot of these thicker mattresses, they might have an amazing feel. They might feel great initially when you're in the showroom, but over time, this tends to break down. If you're getting most of your support from here, 
over time, this is gonna start breaking down and then you start getting that, that dip. So, so I see that, you know, these expensive mattresses after about a year or two, they, they don't feel exactly like it, they did on the showroom floor. And then they, the customer is just putting up with a very expensive, but mediocre comfort level mattress. So again, this is on a thicker mattress. This is supporting rather than this. And, you, and we don't want that, you know, and then over time you get that hammock. The second part on why you don't wanna to go too thick and too many layers on a mattress is because a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. So we can have the best layers in there, the best material, the best latex in there, but with a lot of different comfort layers, it just opens yourself up for the mattress to break down quicker because all it takes is one of these layers to start being affected and start to break down then it all trickles up it all it's it's all effect affects everything else which eventually affects your back so so when there's more layers in the bed there's just more that could go wrong in the mattress so i would say less is more when it comes to mattress construction you know maybe one or two good quality layers are recommended rather than a bunch of little layers going on and i see this type of construction happen on, on, quite a bit on uh, some of these more expensive mattresses. You know, you'll have different levels of convoluted foam or memory foam, poly foam, different densities. But like I said, all it takes is one of these layers to start going bad and then the whole mattress is affected and then you get the dip a lot quicker. So, so what we recommend when looking for a new mattress and in, in the way in constructing a mattress is again, going be more minimal. So let me show you what we do in our mattresses and what a lot of other companies um, that are, you know, that are making mattresses built to last are using. So let me take these off. Okay, so what we recommend when it comes to um, looking for mattress construction, determining if it's a good mattress is, again, doing one good quality layer. So like what we use in most of our mattresses is, is natural latex because two main reasons why people choose latex because it is more durable. It does last about two to four times longer than polyurethane, but, and also it's natural. Um, it doesn't have any of the chemicals that, that are gonna off gas that you're gonna be breathing in. But because of the durability down there, there's, it, they do hold up quite a bit longer. And also you're close to the support layer. You know, you're still getting the benefit of the support layer, which is, that, that's what it's meant to do, so, so support you. But you're also getting the comfort and the pressure relief on the top layer. So with this, the advantage of going with this is there's just not a lot that could go wrong with the mattress because we're using a, a better quality material, latex, and there's just one, there's just one layer in there, you know? And there's not a whole lot to go wrong. You still could get the comfort, you still could get the pressure relief without having, you know, all these sorts of different layers and risking it dipping a lot quicker. And that's why we give our latex mattresses 20 year warranties on it. So, so I do recommend going something with, that's going to be more minimal. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. I know mattress shopping can be a little bit confusing. So that's why we put together a mattress shopping guide that you can download from our website or on the link below. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, you can put them in the comments or give us a call and we'll be more than happy to help you. So hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.